Hello and welcome to Paper Spyro Let's Play of Sly Cooper in the Thievius Raccoonus. So, um, uh, I just have a couple things to say real quick. Yes, I am excited to do this game. Um, uh, second off, I want you to join me on PlayStation Network. See this? It's not signed in right now, but my username is the same as my um, uh, username for... Um, YouTube Paper Spyro. So, um, as well, I I accidentally got a true coat, a few trophies during my test run. So, coin collector, collect a single coin. If you don't do that during the entire game, what have you been doing? And sucker punched enter the world of Sly Cooper. Is there another one? Uh, I guess not. So, whatever. Just wanted to make clear of those. They're easy, pretty much. So let's just press start. Sly, come in. Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. You can uh, make the characters move in those cutscenes if you move the control sticks. So, just thought I'd let you know. Random interesting thing you find out from playing through this game so many times. Even better now that it's in glorious HD and being recorded that same way. I wanted to do this Let's Play a lot earlier, like, because this is another one of my all-time favorite games, but I just uh, wasn't ready for it because the Sly Collection was out, so I wanted to make sure that it was in as good quality as possible, and it really does look good, and it should really look good on YouTube, too, from what I've done with my test videos, well, at least not on YouTube, but at least in digital view. Maybe YouTube won't look as good, but... So obviously I would have gained my first achievement, or my first two achievements right now. Sucker Punch, Down in the World of Sly Cooper, and Coin Collector, Collect a Single Coin. Hey, you will be getting all of those things. through the main Must story. Or to... something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I'm quiet during those. I forgot what I was saying. But I'm, uh, I would have gained the first two achievements by now. You're going to gain most of your achievements by just going through the main story. You don't have to do any of the master thief quests but you do have to do I think you have to do the uh break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp I lost my train of thought again something about um what was I talking about so just to demonstrate here can't even demonstrate never mind so just nice break that job. alarm all right, I'm not going to listen to every one of those. Maybe I will. What the? Okay, messed up the camera there. It's not something you usually see. I lost my train of thought again. Um, I don't even remember. Oh well, whatever. So what you have to do is go over here and sneak, collect another coin. And I've done this so many times. This is nine three seven. I hacked it. You don't even have to wait for him. I've done this so many times, I know that code. And as you can see, we get that there. Nice job. You got it. Oh yeah, that's right. You I was saying that I'm uh... the fire escape and head through the parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. Um, as I was saying, you have to get a lot of those to get the achievements, but on my main pl PlayStation Network account, which I'm not releasing. 
but you can join me on my Paper Spyro one. I do have all the achievements for this game. Cause this is the only game I've actually fully bothered to complete on my Sly collection. The others I haven't really yet. Cause I've, I've, but I've completed them on the PS2 because I still have the PS2 version. So. Not like there was any particular need, it's just that they look pretty good now. And they're in a collection. Even though I have heard there is a special something at the very end. I haven't seen it other than on YouTube. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh, and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. That's an Might alliteration. Snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. So she'll start su shooting at you. I'm just gonna let her shoot me down because you can do this. The easy way of getting down. And now what you want to do here is go through, and it might take longer, but you what you want to do is don't stand on a police car. That's how you're going to die. Because if you get shot once right now, you're dead. So just watch yourself, and you should be pretty good. You can't escape me, raccoon. Because Sly only has one hit when you start the game, unless you die too many times. Which again, I think I've done before. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thebius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That's pretty much the challenge here. Now, I should close my door. One moment. Okay. Please do not turn off the system. Nice we got it. Back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already Bentley. plotted a route to our first target. You have this. Then you have a hint on what our next one will be. Can't go all the way around yet. Murray does a different thing for every chapter, except the last one. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. 
The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. Yes. We are ready to begin chapter one, if you will. And with that, we're thrown right into a stealthy approach. You have earned a trophy. Learn the ropes. Bronze trophy. Not bad. By the way, I should mention that all the trophies I earn on this are going to be during my Let's Plays. So, you know, if I play any other games with trophies something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Ah, oh, a gate's gonna be the worst of our problems. Not really. There will be a lot worse that comes through this game. Now you will find me going after a lot of the coins. Now, and we got a trophy coin recycler. Okay, so and with that we will find it. As you'll see there is a number that you have to find in each level. And we will be getting all of them. I probably know where all of them are. There are hints that allow you to find them later if you're missing them. And uh, as to for seeing what that trophy was, I apologize for keep, because I keep pausing this, but and I need to update my PSP. So I, PS3 so I can actually go online, get 60 coins. Okay. Again, this is, for those of you who have played this all these years, these are three easy platinum trophies because there's three platinum trophies in one game. Slot, one for slide one, one for slide two, and one for slide three. So... If you're looking for that, then you would be pleased. You don't even have to really climb there, you can just use this to go up here, which you kind of have to anyway to get all these clues. Well, it's not like you have to get all the clues, but it's just something I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'll be doing all the Master Thief runs, though. But I'll definitely be doing all the clues and everything. Some of them get pretty difficult later, too. Especially in, like, World 4, but you don't have to do them in World 5. One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Have you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Okay, so, moving along here. Obviously, these aren't that difficult. Just migrate past them a little bit. And we just made it past that guy. And so, if you're wondering why I... Never mind. I was gonna do a demonstration, but apparently I accidentally broke it when going for coins. And now, as you'll see, we picked up ourselves a horseshoe. You pick up 100 coins, you get a horseshoe. We got a trophy, coins, coins everywhere for 99 coins. Um, uh, but the horseshoes will protect you if you take damage. You take one, you lose it. According then to that's it. Positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine? I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Okay, so, yep, so if I were to take damage from this guy, which I'm gonna try not to, but I'm not, uh, then I would just lose that and not have to lose a life. You lose all your lives, you, you have to start the area you were at again, not from checkpoints. I'm gonna try not to make that happen. 
I'll play it won't. I kind of doubt that I'll be getting game overs. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Okay, moving along. Bunch of coins, not too much. These are the annoying parts. These rotating things. These always messed me up when I was trying to go for the Master Thief sprints. Haven't done those in a long time, though. Now, every time you hit one of these, it'll, like, re-checkpoint your progress, and it used to be that every time you got checkpointed to, the screen would flash. Now, be careful not to get hit on these spotlights, because you have to evade two of them, but I'll show you what happens here. You step in the spotlights once, usually there's a gate or something that comes up, the alarm will start going off and everything will turn red, and after, you, and after it turns red, you, if you get hit, or if you go in the spotlights again, you're going to get burned, so watch out. It's usually not the best thing, but at least they're somewhat forgiving. But for now, let's grab another clue here. Should be four more. That large vault has got to be somehow yep. related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Yeah, so we're just gonna go grab these at last few over here. And as we'll see, Pong. Bottle hoarder, okay. I don't remember this one. Now I do. Nine, two. Okay. I remember them once they're played back. It's kind of like, oh yeah, I remember him saying that. And as you can see, we're gaining trophies right and left in this game. Okay, so triangle, you see here, is dive. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press it, and I'll show you. Just does that. No special technique powers like we're in the past. The, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. As you see, when we fall, we take damage, too. But, um, uh, so that was all in the past couple slides. They had like a power meter, but you can use unlimited stuff in this game, which is awesome. You just have to collect it. As you can see, we got a key. And that key will allow us to unlock this lock. And move into this hologram. But as I can see, we're running up on uh, 20 minutes here, so I'm going to call it for this recording session here. And in the next part, I believe we're going to be starting up with Prowling the Grounds and possibly some more missions. See you guys then.